everybody, Ann here, just sitting here in front of the chicken yard, having my coffee with all of you. My family is gone. My son left Sunday. My son and grandkids left Sunday. My mom and dad left yesterday, and I just had a wonderful time. And to be honest, I really didn't do a whole lot of filming. My uh, grandson put the SD card, in, well, that action camera, I gave it to him. And uh, I told him just to film some stuff. I haven't even looked at the footage yet. I just wasn't in the mode to do a bunch of YouTube filming. I just wanted to spend time with my family. And it was, it was a wonderful time. It really was. My son got so much work done. My son, my grandson, and my dad. Um, we planted a couple trees. We got the insulation. Well, we. I didn't do the insulation. My son and my dad and grandson did finish the insulation. And then my son put up the wood paneling. And I'm just exhausted. And I didn't even do half the work. I didn't do any of the work, basically. They just did it. I stayed out of their way. I didn't micromanage. Anyhow, uh, so I'll show you a few clips of a few things in this video, and then as the days go by, I'll show you what I've been doing to kind of get organized and and whatnot, um, but it was just a wonderful time. I will tell you that I think it was the day before I went to my post office box, and a wonderful, oops, <laughs> let me grab it, sorry about that, um, my, can't, my tripod, I brought it out here, and I took the thing off you know, to hold the camera so that my grandson could put the action cam on it. And I don't know where I put the thing. Anyhow, Alice D. sent me a little package with a beautiful card in it. I'm sorry that I didn't open it in front of all of you. I just couldn't wait. And that's a good thing, too, because it had a $200 gift certificate in it to Tractor Supply Company and a $50 Amazon gift certificate. I've already spent a little bit of the tractor supply money, and um, that's going to come in such... Oh, Romeo, he keeps flying up there. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. The rooster was trying to fly the coop. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, I got my hair cut. My mom cut my hair, and I love it. It feels so good. I kind of did brush it a little bit today, trying to grow the bangs out. Um, so... Alice D, thank you so much for the beautiful card and the gift certificates, they help so much. Anyway, yeah, um, didn't do a lot of filming. And I talked to my son about filming him and the kids and he really didn't want to be filmed and we kind of decided we're not gonna film the kids. They're minors and, um, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep the grandkids a private thing. Um, but just know that they're beautiful. They're very smart. They're wonderful. Um, my grandson is a football and track star. He gets very, very good grades. My granddaughter, well, one granddaughter, um, she is basically, I don't know if she gets straight A's, but she got a certificate for having a really high grade point average. And then my step-granddaughter is a soccer star. And they're all just beautiful, lovely, oh, chickens. I got the littles out in the yard. Oh, and Roxy is no longer the the low one on the in the pecking order. Anyhow, I haven't had a full coffee yet, so morning, Romeo. It was a wonderful trip, so I'm going to show you a few clips, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about this wonderful visit, and um, that tiny house is really coming together. I also wanted to show you this beautiful pen. My nephew Nicholas made me. He makes these pens. He spins wood and these little, I don't know what you call them, resin composite or whatever. But this one is green. He knows my favorite color is green. <laughs> oh, meow. This is the second one he's made for me. And it's such a beautiful pen and it writes so well. And it's got little sparklies in it. So my mom said the sparklies are like crushed diamonds. But usually he will sell these pens for about a hundred bucks a piece. And it is absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, Nicholas. I love it. I love it as much as the other pen you made for me. And it feels good in my hand. They all arrived on Friday. My son got here first. And then my parents came here and set up a tent. So this is the meal that I made. It is like a crab boil, except for the crab legs weren't any good at the store. So instead I got crawdads. And there's shrimp in there. There's sausage. There's potatoes. 
corn on the cob. I served it over a bed of rice. There's some of the juice up there. And I forgot to get, like, fan... <laughs> Romeo! I forgot to get fancy bread, so I just put out some wheat bread. And, uh, well, I tell you what, I wish there were clams in it. I wish there were lobster in it. It turned out okay. I personally did not care for the crawdads. I'm like, I opened up one, and you just take off the tail. That's all you eat is the tail. And I'm like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I will never eat a crawdad again in my life. The good thing is, is chickens love crawdads, but they seem to enjoy it, and I loved making it, and I will make it again, but next time it's going to have crab in it, it's going to have clams in it, and if I can find some good, decent lobster, it's going to have that in it too. So yeah, I would definitely try this. I just put it in a big pot and boiled it all up, and oh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. <laughs> It would have been better without the crawfish, but you know, live and learn. Here's the beginning process. I had to pull a bunch of stuff outside. Yep, that's all my stuff. Well, not all of it, but quite a bit of it. That's uh, leftover insulation remnants, but man, what a huge mess. And here it is, the beginnings. They put up quite a bit of paneling. It's not finished yet. They put up, the, they finished all of the wall insulation. It's all done. And there's some paneling up there in the back. And yeah, I just pulled everything into the middle. Here it is, a little bit organized. I've changed some things around and I put some things where they weren't before. But it looks beautiful. All I've got to do is tap in a few more nails because there was so little time. And he had to... It never fails, Romeo. And he had to get it all done in a day. Um, and basically, my son did the paneling himself. He did the cutting himself, and he did a fantastic job. I said, just get it up there. I can finish putting in the rest of the nails. That's not a problem. But I did want to show you. I've got some corner trim in there. It's very basic. It's kind of like roundy on one side and, you know, like a corner on the other side. That trim off to the left there. I'm going to show you a close-up of it in a minute. But I'm going to stain that, and if I like it, then I'm going to get enough trim to go over the seams, and it's just going to be beautiful. I cannot wait to get this project completed, but it looks pretty nice. I am just so thrilled with it. Here is a close-up of the trim. It's got that little delicate pattern all the way through. It's very thin. It's not going to be hard to put up. And I'm going to stain it. It's not going to be as dark as the paneling. It's going to be lighter. It's going to match the corner trim and there's a reason why I'm putting it lighter and it's because of what I'm going to do with the roof. It'll all tie in really nicely but there is a baseboard that comes with this pattern as well. So if I stain this and I like it then I will get the baseboard stuff and stain that as well. Put that up first and then put this up second. I'm still considering what to do the, with the floor because technically you're supposed to do the floor first and the molding and the, then the trim but um I'm still figuring all of that out, but I think this is going to be perfect. But to be sure, I didn't buy a whole bunch of trim. I just wanted to make sure I was going to like it, so I'm going to stain it and put it up and see if I like it. And if I do, I'm just going to finish it up. Let's take a walk down by the street so you can see my new beautiful trees. These are two beautiful apple trees. This one is a gala or gala, however you say it. Um, and this is a self-pollinating tree, but this is a honey crisp apple tree. And the guy explained to me that you need to have, uh, if, if we're going to have a honey crisp, you need to have uh, another tree that can cross pollinate or whatever. This is not a self-pollinating tree. So this is a honey crisp and it is beautiful. I am thinking of getting some steaks because the wind does get pretty bad here and I don't want them to totally bend over so I'm going to stake them up with something. Um, anyhow, the guy gave us instructions. We followed his instructions. Um, we put some cow manure down. We dug the hole pretty deep. Um, we mixed it with some garden soil, kind of mounded it up over the top. Um, it was Mr. Lucas' idea to put the clay on top of it but um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting some mulch over the top of all of that. But my dad, <laughs> he can dig a hole. He dug both of these holes. And I mean, I dug a little bit, but he put these plants in basically for me. And they look great. He got some other photos of me watering and 
us working on them and whatnot. And as the days go by, I'll show you more, you know, uh, little photos and stuff of what we did. But it was just such a beautiful time. The guy at the nursery really was very knowledgeable. He's grown these trees before. And uh, he told me, oh, look, Papa's going over there. Come here, Papa. Come here, big boy. Come on, boy. Uh, he's going to go over there. And so he told me what to do. We've got some uh, fertilizer for them and some pesticide for them. But they survived the trip from Jackson all the way back here pretty well. I mean, there's a little bit of damage here and there, but that's okay. They're going to be just fine. So I got to get me some steaks and stake them up so that they don't blow over. But they're doing pretty good, you know, in this wind. And it's pretty windy out here right now. So I've got apple trees, you guys. Look at it. There he is. <laughs> I knew you'd come back. You know where your food is. I thought I'd end this video with a selfie of my parents and myself. Yes, my glasses are all squished up. I took it on his iPhone, but it was a happy visit. I love my parents and my son and my grandkids so very much. They all worked so hard. My son especially, oh my goodness, he took on a big job in a limited amount of time. Oh, I'm going to show you the, the sawhorse that he built me and he left here for me too. And he got up bright and early with me and the chickens and that's the first thing he did. He built that sawhorse, so I'll show it to you in the next video. And as the days come, I'll be sharing more, you know, a little bit of footage, some photos and the progress on the tiny house. But it was just a glorious visit. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.